Kid Low So, in case you ain't know so here, rocking with World Star Hip Hop, letting y'all know what's going on, what's about to come. Um, we got the album, of course, Low So's Way. Uh, we got the mixtape, um, which is called There Is No Competition 2, that I'm gonna work on with DJ Drama. Uh, we also have a website coming, uh, myfabulouslife.com. Um, so here today, I'm gonna fill you in on all those things, let you know where I've been, uh, you know, fill y'all in. I started rapping um, really young, like it was a hobby for me. And I started, um, really I just started from, from just being a fan of the music. And then um, I used to, I, I started getting connected to certain rappers that I thought were dope like Big Daddy Kane and Coogee Rap. And uh, I think you probably hear it a little bit in my multi-syllable rhyming now is how I was so much into them at that time. And um, at first I used to write their raps out, you know what I mean? And, and, and then I took their raps and switched them around and said what I wanted to say in their raps. And then that started getting too easy and then I started writing my own raps. And it was always a hobby for me to just write, and nobody even really knew that I, 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 I rapped at uh, my younger age. And then I think one of my friends started running his mouth, uh, big shout to Sap, you know, and he was running his mouth and telling everybody. And then um, from there, like my whole hood was just on my back, like pressuring me to rap because they heard I was so so dope. So um, I then with a situation where I was. I was I was young and, and just really starting to feel confident, confident about myself rapping. I didn't even think that I was there. I just thought I, I just liked to do it. You know what I'm saying? And that was just as much as started when I was like 12, 13 years old. The chain I have on today, I got a few chains. The chain I have on today mainly uh, symbolizes my company and my crew and my uh, entertainment company, Street Family. So we kind of, San Francisco 49ers, we kind of borrowed their logo for now. Don't sue us, it's just for now. And um, you know what I mean? I think I, I really just to me, it, it, it was so, the, the initials were so bold that that's why I, I came with that. Really right now, we in the process of, of bringing members into Street Fam. But we have a core membership right now of me, Red Cafe, Paul Kane, um, Freck the Billionaire, uh, a guy out of LA by the name of Kobe. And um, you know, just, just trying to trying to build something from the from the, from the from the ground up. I don't know. Uh, I guess you know what I mean? I respect what Banks does. The MC, you know, the funny thing is we actually uh, did a song for Banks' album, I think. I don't know if it was his, I think it got to be his second, I don't know how many albums he put out, but I think it was his second album, but it didn't get used. But that was like our first time like, actually being on track to go. It's actually kind of dope, so I don't know where it is. I don't know some DJ in this, in this world of leaking, but they need to leak that. Really, my relationship with Clue is still, to this day, he's, um, he's a part of the production company I'm signed to, Devin Stone. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's a partner in that, and, and we, we, and aside from the business, we're still partners on a, on a, on a regular, everyday uh, level, you know what I'm saying? So, he does his thing, I mean, I don't know if people still see me, you know what I mean, at, or connect us as much as they did early on in my career, you know what I mean, through that mixtape era. Uh, but like he's still he's still involved, you know what I mean? He's doing his thing. He's on Power 105 Radio in New York. He's, he's hitting the club scene right now, pretty heavy. So you see Clue around. So that bundle's death affected me in a way because you know what I'm saying. I met uh, I met Stack through that Clue situation. You know what I'm saying? And I saw his hunger and his passion for the music. You know what I'm saying? Besides somebody being hungry, a lot of people be hungry to rap 
because they just need money. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think that was with it with Stack. You know what I'm saying? He had a passion about doing it and, and, and his, his, his passion for the music. He saw it every time you saw him. You know what I'm saying? So I met him through Clue and um, that situation where I heard about his untimely death. It was, it was, it was, it was shocking, but but at the same time, it was like a, a wake up call kind of thing for people who kind of become successful a little bit and don't know um, the boundaries of being um, successful too. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I took it too because in my in, in 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 some form that I become successful, and I'm still dibble and dabble within the hood and. You know, keep my same friends from the hood, and, and in certain situations, what happened to me, and that was really probably the most tragical situation that could happen. If I was to send 500 pounds from one side of the country to the other, I don't think I would have to be hands-on to do that. Um, but. Really, it, it, I, I looked at it as, another, I took another experience too from it, is that how, you know what I mean, now this media era, they love to attach a name to certain stories, to sensationalize a story, so I think once the guy said any kind of name, you know what I mean, and, and, and it stuck and the media ran with it, and even though I read the story myself too, and it said at the end of the story, um, the cops questioned both of the guys involved who got arrested and their stories wasn't adding up. You know what I'm saying? They, they seemed like lies or made up stories and people still ran with the story, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, now I got people hit me up like, yo, fat, what's up with them pounds? You know what I mean? We, we, we got that, we got the connect over here, we got the transport. The upcoming album, is 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 going to be a collection of music. Well, it's a little more personal than um, some of my other work to date. Um, just because I felt like I wanted to open up a little bit more at this time, and I felt like um, not like I'm just going out and, 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 and going crazy, but I felt like I wanted to to open up a little bit more to people who do listen to my music, and I felt like that helps people relate to your music as well. favorite song is, wow, um, my favorite song on the album might be a song called Pachanga, well it's really like Pachanga, and it's, it's, it's from uh, the movie but Carlito's Way, this boy that was rolling with him, and he was Pachanga, and at some point in the movie, like this was just like his right hand, at some point in the movie, his man kind of changed on him a little bit. And um, and somebody came to him and told Carlito, like, yo, um, this guy Pachanga is, is talking about how, he, how he's not get, making no money with you, he ain't getting no money. They saying that he's spying on you for somebody else. And Carlito was kind of had his own problems on his mind and kind of ignored that. And at the end of the movie, Pachanga is partially the reason why he got killed because he led Benny Blanco to where he was leaving at. So really, that song, it comes into play, I called it Pachanga, Pachanga, was because, you know I mean, you have different relationships in life and sometimes they change for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? So, and um, in the first verse, it was more about just friends that uh, the, the relationship changes. And the second verse, I talked about uh, 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 your love interest relationship changing. And then the third verse, I talked about how you can be in a crew and the and and love changes within your crew. And, um, it's, a, it's, a real, it's a real song, so you know what I mean? That's why it's one of my favorites. Just the king off the top of my head, that's one of my favorite joints of that.